When we created a histogram of the casual variable, we could see that actually this variable was, uh, and still is, highly skewed to the right. So when you have a variable that is skewed to the right, it may be a good idea to run a log of this variable uh, because uh, changing the scale can actually help you deal with skewness. And definitely you want to do that because you know you want your distribution to be normal, uh, to be able to apply different statistical tests and to get uh, more reliable results. So this is what we are going to do. Let's go to our data set. And uh, we're going right now to create a new data set and we're going to add a new variable to that data set that will be represented by a log of casual. So uh, for that we'll need to click on Query Builder. And this is basically like everything you see on the right is basically your new data set. But before we start doing anything about it, let's save the data set permanently uh, because otherwise you know it will disappear next time you um, as soon as you close SAS. So right now it's going to be saved in the work library but we don't want that. So let's click on change uh, servers local and tutorial and let's call it uh, bike data 2 for example or let's say 1 whatever. And Right now, everything you see on the right is your new data set. So right now there are no columns, no observations, nothing. Let's just drag, uh, either you can do it like one by one, or you can drag the whole thing to the right. What is important also, the order in which you see the variables here is going to be the exact order of the variables in your new data set. So right now we have casual, we don't have a log of casual, but we're going to create it. So for that we'll need to click here, add a new computed column, and we need to choose the advanced expression. Then next, and then let's just type log brackets, let's open the brackets, let's click on the selected columns, and then let's choose our casual and double click on it and then close the brackets. That's your expression, so this is your formula. After that, next. And let's call it uh, casual, sorry, casual log, let's say. And uh, we're not going to give it any um, label, but we're going to change its format. So let's go to change, and let's choose numeric. Uh, best w point d. Let's say eight here and decimal places two. Okay, next and finish. So right now we added a new a new variable and then we'll run. So let's check. This is our new data set, it's called bike data one. We can also refresh our library here and see, oh, okay, we actually have two data sets in our library tutorial. So now let's go to the right and let's see, we have casual log and this is our log. Um, so now let's, let's also check whether um, transforming the scale, changing the scale of the variable helped us a little bit uh, with, the, um, with the skewness. For that, we'll go back to our describe and distribution analysis. Let's click on it. And let's create two histograms, one for casual, one for casual log. Let's just drag them here. Also distributions, we don't want actually much information, but uh, we may need normal and we may need, you know, to see the, the line. Uh, whether the distribution is normal or not. Let's also opt for the histogram and let's choose uh, the white font here. Let's also choose the inset and let's ask it for skewness because that was like what we worried about. Uh, tables, we can ask to suppress descriptive statistics because we don't care about it right now. 
we can also change the title distribution analysis okay yeah that's the title is okay and again you can go for properties and ask it asks us to save um, your output in another way but we don't care about this right now so let's click run so this is our original variable it includes the mean right uh, so the skewness is higher than one here the skewness is a little bit lower than one but it's still pretty skewed though you know so we can try uh, forecasting either um, either this one or that one and then we can compare the results as well so uh, that's that's how you add new variables to your data set